hello friends and welcome back this is where we left last time so let's go ahead and continue from here what we are going to do we are going to import our request class and our route class so let's go to the top of file and here we're going to say use uh, Luminate and it's not HTTP and, and 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 then this one will be request again. So we import the uh, request class again. We are going to import the uh, route class. So use. Illuminate and the support, and then we're going to grab the route like that. Okay, let's go ahead and test this out and see what we get as a response so let's go back to our postman and this time around we are going to provide our name so name like so email like so user type then password and then password confirmation like that so name we're going to say pro for example email pro at pro dot com then user type just going to provide one for now password one two three four five six you would want to put your own password and I confirm the same password so I'll try to send my requests required does not exist so we may have a typo somewhere required yeah this one is supposed to be required we don't have what i had written there required so it looks tidy now let's try it out again so let's send not found exception so let's go ahead and check what's happening in our application in our route okay and this is supposed to be talking and not talk i had written it wrongly so let's go back and try that out so let's change the email because if it reached here it means it reached here so this user has already been registered but we can try and send it back again and see the user has already been registered so let's change the email and try another one so me at me.com and then the password the email it's me and me.com then the name is me password i'll just leave it like that and try to send it back again and we get an error invalid client so 
So let's go and check where the problem might be rising from. And uh, we have the client properties, client ID, client name, I mean, client ID, username, and password. Uh, we are getting our client here. Let's just confirm out if that is our client that we are getting out clients and uh, personal access and but you know what we are supposed to be getting the id2 for password grant claim but instead we are looking for the id1 so let's try change that and go back here and try it again email already taken and this time around now i'm going to put you and it will be you at your company dot com i will leave everything else intact and i'll try again to send again invalid okay i believe what we can do right now uh, we can uh, go back to our text editor and what i can do i'm going to add another another uh, window of my terminal and i'm going to say php Autumn migrate go back okay php i'm going to roll back all the the migrations that i had done and now i'm going to create a php it's on passport then client and i'm going to pass password client client then password api password grant client okay no problem which is a provider should this client okay users correct and it looks like there's a problem oh okay so i'm going to create migrate so first of all let me migrate and then again Create my client. Okay. Okay. So password client created successfully and ID is one. So try let's try to pass that one there. Save. Go to our postman. Try to post this one. And again invalid client okay um i'm sorry guys we missed something somewhere so this one is supposed to be client secret and then we are supposed to have the client id here id which is supposed to be this password client id okay so let's go ahead and try that one out giving us the error so now we can say me and this one me and then at me.com like so 
we hit send again and there we are now we are getting back our our token and we are getting the expires in remember we said that our token will be expiring in the next 15 days and also our refresh token it's given here this is the token type then expires in and we have the token string here and we have our refresh token here but in a real scenario this kind of data it's helpful but we also need to have the user object somewhere in inside the returned object so that we can know the user id the user email or even the username of this application who has been authenticated so we stop there for now when we get into the second video we are going to see how we can return the user object alongside the authentication information for this user so see you in the next one